Now let's look at、um, potential measurement or voltage measurement with finite current. Sometimes we call galvanostatic or constant current measurement. For galvanic cell, as we mentioned, the cell potential would be equilibrium potential minus I R, the potential drop on the electrolyte minus eta A, the over potential on the anode minus eta C, the over potential on the cathode. Of course, I use absolute value for both over potential to simplify the representation. And for electrolytic cell, similarly, the applied potential will be higher than equilibrium potential. Higher by I R, the potential consumed all across the electrolyte, plus the O potential on the anode to drive the current, and the O potential on the cathode, sim for similar、uh, reason to drive the current. So this is the plot that we showed before: the cell potential E. Versus current I, okay, and、uh, when the current is zero, the E would equal would be equal to equilibrium、um, potential. While if the current is positive, means galvanic cell going from chemical energy to electricity. Then the cell potential will be equilibrium minus the current times total internal resistance. While for the electrolytic cell, con consuming electricity and store that electricity in chemical energy, then the applied cell potential requested would be equilibrium plus the current times total internal. Cell resistance. Of course, the current in both cases are using absolute value. Okay, so this is the relationship. And as we mentioned,、uh, you can measure voltage at a fixed current to probe a reaction process, a half cell reaction process of interest, or including its poisoning or recovery by certain species, or the stability for that half cell reaction. Let's give an example. We want to check the effect of H2S, hydrogen sulfide, as a fuel contaminant in pure hydrogen in hydrogen on solid oxide fuel cell or SOFC operation. It is type of electrochemical cell SOFC that converts chemical energy stored in fuel such as hydrogen to electricity. Okay, and then if the hydrogen fuel contains some H2S. That contaminant, even trace amount, would impact its operation. So this would be the result. Okay, we are plotting cell voltage versus time on the current density, constant current, galvanostatic or constant current condition. The current density, as you see here, would be two hundred sixty milliamp per square centimeter. To 60 milliamp per square centimeter, and the temperature is isothermal condition, which means 1,000 degrees C. And then you measure the cell voltage, the entire cell voltage between the、uh, anode and the cathode, between the anode and the cathode, and you see that okay, it initially、um, goes up, increase a little bit. Reach stabilization when there's no H2S, no、uh, sulfur contaminant. Then at around the 420 hour, at around 420 hour, they also introduced the 10 ppm, ppm parts per million, 10 parts per million of hydrogen sulfide in volume into the hydrogen fuel, and then you see the. At the same current density, the cell voltage dropped instantaneously, within a few hours, by a significant amount. Okay, from roughly 0.62 to roughly 0.54, and then as time goes on, it continued to drop、uh, somewhat. Okay, from around 0.54 to below 0.52 volt. Then At around four hundred ninety, for 
five hundred uh, seconds, five hundred thirty seconds. Then H two S, the ten ppm H two S was again removed from the hydrogen fuel stream, and then you see this sudden jump in the cell voltage, and then a gradual recovery, a initial sudden recovery followed by a gradual recovery or gradual climb. So then, as you see, you can fix the current density, so-called galvanostatic or constant current condition, measure the voltage, and use that to probe the reaction process, including poisoning going down, okay, sulfur poisoning, and the recovery going up when sulfur is introduced into and later removed from the fuel stream, okay? So you can do this type of environment to understand the reaction process, including its poisoning and recovery. And uh, the actual anode reaction for hydrogen electrode, because you have the H2S contaminated in hydrogen, so on the hydrogen electrode, the actual half cell reaction would be hydrogen combined with a OO means oxygen sitting at an oxygen lattice position to form H2O. H2O, water, G for gas, H2O gas uh, or water vapor plus VO, VO means oxygen vacancy, oxygen vacancy, and it's charged. The dot represents uh, positive charge. Two dots means two positive charge, and then you also release two electrons. Okay, so the net charge on the right would be two plus, and the two minus would be zero. So the net charge on the left is also zero. The mass is two hydrogen on the left, two hydrogen on the right. One oxygen on the left, one oxygen on the right. Remember, this one is an oxygen vacancy; it does not contain oxygen. Okay, so this half cell reaction is charge and mass balanced okay so for this case constant current you monitor the voltage sudden drop followed by gradual drop due to sulfur poisoning when you introduce 10 ppm of hydrogen sulfide into the hydrogen fuel and later when you remove this h2s we have so-called recovery which means the at a, still at the same current density, the voltage first go up quickly and then recover more slowly until reaching the original value, okay? And then in this case, you can measure the cell potential and the cell potential, as you see, changes drop, sudden drop, gradual drop, sudden increase, gradual increase, changes due to H2S poisoning, okay? For this case, and of the anode reaction, which we listed uh, here, and as a result, the increase in over potential for the anode reaction. Okay, so this gives us the change in both in voltage um, for the cell, and this change is primarily coming from the few electrode or hydrogen electrode or the anode because no real change is happening in the electrolyte ohmic resistance and no real change is happening on the cathode side or the oxygen electrode side okay so you see that we have an example of using potentiometry at a constant current or galvanostatic condition to understand the reaction process including checking its poisoning drop and the recovery which is going up and for the current and reaching stability for such an electrochemical half-cell reaction.